Instagram J, aka OJ Bakrivatas. Another kind of banger video. Not today. Yes. Yes, I'm back. Oh, man, how long we haven't posted, man? This is this is this is getting worse and worse by the days. Worse and worse by the days. Hold on, let me see. Okay, last time I posted was three weeks ago. Almost a month. Yeah, so um, a lot of stuff been coming. I ain't even gonna try to make no excuses this time. Like I feel like I'm always making some some excuses up, but like I really be doing stuff. Like that's a lot going on. But like the dance gonna be Friday, the freaking basketball be going on. Like it's a lot going on, and I feel like I don't be having enough time to do this. But I'm still gonna pull out a couple videos here and there. So if y'all cool with that, hey, we here. So we gonna go with the first question. The first question is that this is how you know I haven't posted in a long time because it's a lot of new tea that y'all don't really know about. You know what I'm saying? So the first question is, how did you find out you had feelings for Matthew? Now y'all probably like, oh, who is that? Okay, y'all suck. <laughs> okay, let me stop playing. All right, y'all. So, um, I have a boyfriend. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. So his name is Matthew. So if I tell you Matthew, you then you know what I'm talking about. Period. So that said, how did you find out you had Matthew? I found that out when, because we been started talking around like February, and then we stopped talking for like a month, and then we got back talking. And then when we got back talking, things got more serious. And I actually realized, like, because when we first started talking, I was like, I don't know if I, how I feel. But after the second time, when we started talking again, I knew. Like, I just felt it. I was like, okay, I like the connection. I said our vibe was good. We was we was bonding. Like, it was, everything was good. So, like, I knew it was perfect. So. Now we, now we here where we here now. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. I'm not playing. So, yeah, that's that. There's somebody's. <laughs> I'm not playing. Three bad season, all summer, question mark. Of course. What do you mean? Like, what? Three bands all summer, all year, all whatever. Three bands all. Man, come on, man. Let's go. Uh, so, yeah, Lauren asked that question. Lauren, you know what? Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so next question. Um, somebody asks, are you a virgin? What? <laughs> yes. Be for real. I'm not trying to bash whoever asked this question. Because, I mean, you never know these days. But I'm not the type of female. So, yes, I am a virgin. <laughs> Wait, no, let me finish the question. She said, are you a virgin? Not to be in your business, but just a spicy question. I like that, though, because, like, I ask her some spicy questions, but I'm, I'm not, bro. I'm a virgin. Like, I'm not like that. I don't do that. How does your friend group meet? So, my friend group met, I, I'm pretty sure they're talking about me, McKaylee, Lauren, and Kamari. So, uh, we met um, last year. Well, they already knew each other from, what, sixth grade, I think. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I don't know. But I think I think it was sixth grade. Fifth or sixth grade, one of them. And they already knew each other, obviously. And last year, if y'all go back to my old videos, y'all know I just moved out here. I moved out here in 2020, right? So, uh, I ain't know nobody. So, sixth grade, yeah, I was virtual the whole year. The seventh grade, that's when I came here. I moved in this house, and then I went to the school I met. And I didn't know anybody. Like, I saw McKaylee and all the group all the time. But I obviously was gonna come up to them and be like, yo, can we be friends? Like, I feel like that's not the type of person I am. Like, my mom tried to press me so hard to just come up to people and be like, can we be friends? Like, but like, it ain't, it ain't 1984 no more, mom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't just do that. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's so weird now. That, that's personally how I feel. I feel like that's weird just to come up to somebody and be like, yo, can we be friends? Like, I don't know. That's just not me. I feel like I let it flow. So I just let it flow, and then that's when basketball season came, and I was obviously 18, <laughs> like, <laughs> be freaking, <laughs> like, nigga 18, you know what I'm saying? So I was 18, and, uh, yeah, we started being cool, because that was obviously on 18, too, so, you know, we was all cool and stuff like that, so, hey, easy, and we started being cool, and then that's when a lot more stuff happened in between, but now we hear where we are now, so that's all that matters. Now, y'all, y'all see it is not done. Y'all just got the shower. It is 11.02. Y'all see this? Hold on. 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 Hold
Eleven oh two. Yeah, I'm supposed to be. <sighs> got school in the morning, but I'm making this YouTube video, so let's go. Uh, oh yeah, comment down below if I should do a get ready with me for my eighth grade dance. What's the sneaker ball? So yeah, let me know. Next question: What made you start YouTube? What made me start YouTube is I was about eleven. 11 12 ish um and my sister just first got her channel and i was like oh i was like because if y'all don't know like i've been doing youtube well you too i don't know if y'all had a childhood like this but like have y'all ever when y'all was younger was y'all not getting like phones and recording like you're like a vlogger like a youtuber like you're actually doing youtube because i used to do that like i got a video right here like y'all i'm literally vlogging making cookies like like i was really it's crazy and then if you listen in the beginning i i wasn't saying it clear but my but i was saying in the intro is the exact intro i have now that's what's crazy because it was like i had an intro for a long time and then when i first made my first youtube video i was like should i keep it i was like shit i don't even know i just be saying stuff and then that's why i ended up getting the intro i got now from all of it back then i had to be like selling eight seven or eight right here like Probably younger, I don't know. But that's what I'm trying to get. Like, when I was younger, I used to always make fake YouTube videos. So, the fact that my sister made YouTube channel, I was like, I should make one. So, I made one. So, that's where we are now. YouTuber. Next, would you ever cut your locks? Y'all, I haven't even made a year yet. I make a year next month. Wait. Is it June or July? Bro, I don't know. It's either June or July. So, I either make a month, I mean a year next month or the next month. So, it's either June or July. I don't know. But I will never cut my hair. I will never do that again. I cut my hair before, not doing it again. So, uh, yeah, I will never cut my locks. If I wanted to get to the point where I want to take my locks out and don't want them no more, I would definitely take the process of combing them out because I'm not going bald. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, I will never cut my locks. I, I chose this for a reason. Like, I hate doing my hair. The whole point of locks, I feel like, is to feel free. You wake up. No, you ain't gotta do nothing. All you gotta do is get edges and pick a style. Hey, <laughs> that's that's the best feeling. When you waking up and you know you don't gotta brush your hair, detangle it, put all this conditioning. Like that was a process. Last year, I had to wake up at like six o'clock, six fifteen. I wake up at six thirty now, and I have to leave at the. I gotta leave the house at seven ten. So that's how you know I don't have to do that much. All I gotta do is find out what I'm wearing, like brush my teeth, obviously, do my hair edges, and like mascara and all that and then that's it like literally it's not it's it's easy so if you think locks can last i really recommend it because i feel like locks look good on anybody some people <laughs> okay somebody saw you ready for high school i am so ready to the point where like it needs to hurt not playing somebody needs to last a little long but i am ready i am very much ready i'm so tired of middle school middle school is just i'm tired of it so high school need to hurry up and come on. I'm ready. Like I'm literally so ready. It's like a little bone in my body saying I'm nervous. But I'm really ready. So I don't even care what that bone say because I'm really ready. This is crazy. Oh shoot, I'm ready. So I said, how did you meet your best friend? <laughs> okay, so how did I meet my best friend? If y'all know my best friend, my, my best friend is McKaylee. I usually say her whole government, but she be getting mad at me, so I'm not gonna say it. So um McKaylee, um, yeah, so I met McKaylee, I think I met McKaylee before I met Lauren and Kamaya. Because um, they was talking about basketball season and like, I was called, <laughs> you know, and people used to come up to me and stuff like that. And I think McKaylee came up to me and started talking or I came up to her and I started talking, something like that. And we just kept on talking, kept on talking. And so at the time she had another best friend and I didn't obviously. So she had another best friend at the time, but me and her used to talk like almost every day. So it was like, who you picking? <laughs> like, that's basically how I was giving, cause it was like, who you like, who you going with? Cause it's like, you got a best friend, but you on the phone with me all the time. So it's like, what are we doing? So at the end of the day, we ended up being best friends. I'm not even gonna get into detail everything that happened, cause <laughs> if you know, you know. Like also, she, how did you, how did you know you were like Matthew? Like I said in the beginning. Um, we stopped talking for a little bit. We got back talking. I actually started catching feelings heavy, and that's how I really know I actually like her. Put it like that. Period. Bro, she said, do you fart? No. What? 
the first kiss. Uh, my first kiss was in fourth grade. Um, I had a boyfriend at the time. He was like, give me a kiss. I said, okay. Give me one more. Nah, I was playing. Just one. <laughs> I just one. You know what I'm saying? I always just do one kiss. Next question. Ugly is good in school. That's the man. I, 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 I ain't going to answer that. I, why would, nah, I'm not doing that. Especially on YouTube, nah. I don't really think... I don't really think that I, 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 I'm just gonna go to the next question. <laughs> uh, why do you, uh, who do you hate the most and why? I don't really hate nobody. Hate is a strong word, and I don't think I hate nobody. Last year, I know I hated somebody last year, if you know, you know, but I don't really hate her no more. So, uh, we cool. So, um, I don't hate nobody. Hate is a really strong word, and I I, I have I only use that to somebody when I, I really just don't like them, and I haven't said I hated somebody in a long time, so that's actually a good thing. Uh, what's one thing you could change about yourself? Uh, one thing I could change about myself is be more confident. I feel like uh, I feel like anybody should be confident in anything they do, and I feel like I'm not as confident in everything I do. So if I could change something. Be, I want to be more confident in myself and what I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who's the last person you think about before you go to sleep? A <laughs> period, you're my man. Like, what? Because we be already on the phone. It's what you think. I'm dreaming. <laughs> period. All right, last and final question. Uh, uh, looking back on your past, what's one thing you would change? Hmm. One thing I would change, uh, I don't think I would change anything because if I change anything, I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't be doing this right now if I change anything. So everything happens for a reason. God makes sure everything happens for a reason. And everything is God's plan, you know what I'm saying? So he do what he do. <laughs> you know, I just float, you know what I'm saying? So if something bad happened, you already know he got the good coming. So, I mean, I don't even be tripping, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm... This is where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So, anything that happened in the past, it caused for me to get here. So, hey, the past is cool. That's why people be like, oh, I don't like my haters, man. I love my haters. Because, <laughs> like, if you ain't hating, if somebody ain't hating on you, you ain't doing nothing good. And that's how I feel about it. So, a nigga always gonna hate. And if they don't hate, then you're not doing us. You ain't doing something right. So, you need to work on what you're doing if a nigga ain't hating on you. If you don't got no haters, you need to work on what you're doing. Because <laughs> you better have some haters. Because... I mean, I'm doing that right. So yeah, y'all, this is it for the video. I hope you guys this video gives me like 15 likes, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And it's me, OG, and I'm out. Peace, let's get it. Uh, Novocaine, Novocaine.